So we're going to quantitatively describe a single moving point, and this means we need to keep track of its location in both time and space. Now, as a word in English, time can mean a few different things. It can mean a point in time, such as what time is it? Or it can mean a duration, as in how much time does it take me to swim 50 meters? In physics, we write the symbol T to mean a point in time and the symbol delta T to mean a duration. Now, this delta T is just a single symbol. It's not two different symbols multiplying together. It's just a single thing. And we calculate delta t as the end time point minus the beginning time point. 